Hello everybody. Just a short video today and this one is especially for you if you've just received a new Altair camera. Getting a new Astro camera can be a little bit daunting and I'm hoping to make that process a little bit easier by taking you step by step on how to start with your camera all the way through to taking your first Astro images. So this is the, hopefully the first video in a series of videos so stick with me and hopefully I'll get you up and running. But first, let's unbox the camera and see what's inside. As you can see, I've got my assistant here today to help me. The ever interested Luna. You will go. So you've received your new Altair camera. So firstly, let's unbox it and see what's inside. You've got an ST4 cable, which is used for guiding. A USB cable. A nose piece. And the camera itself. The camera also has a translucent cap and we can use that in a little while. And it also comes with a rubber bung to cover the sensor as well. On this kind of camera, there are two ports, one for the ST4 cable and one for the USB cable. And now I'm going to show you how to download the drivers and also how to download Altair Capture and to get started with Altair Capture as well first thing you need to do is to download Altair Capture and if you so wish you can download the ASCOM driver while you're there as well. Now to get to where we need to to download the Altair Capture we can type in the address bar Altair Astro and if we click on the link it will bring us up to the Altair Astro uh, web page. Now if you scroll down on the left here you can see a section that says just got your new Altair camera, start here. Now this will re redirect us to altairastro.help. Now you don't actually have to go through the retail website to get to this web page. You can just type in www.altairastro.help. And as you can see, it's got different sections, employee instructions, uh, register and login. Now, if you haven't already got an account and I assume you don't, you need to register. And once you have, just log in. So if I log in now, and then we can go to info and instructions. Um, there's quick start, frequently asked questions, instructions on how to, troubleshooting, lots of different information. But if we go to downloads, if you've got a Windows PC, and I assume that you do, it will download Altair Capture Start here, and you can also download the Altair, Ask the Altair Astro Camera ASCOM driver. And if you've got an Apple Mac, uh, you can download a version of Altair Capture for that. Or if you've got a Linux uh, based computer, you can download that as well. So I'm just going to download Altair Capture, and it should take us to a Dropbox, and then you just click download. And we'll do this, you do the same for the ASCOM driver. And then we're just going to install Altair Capture. It's pretty quick. And then you can click finish and it should open it up. And I have just plugged the Altair 178 Mono camera into my PC using the cable supplied. I've also removed the rubber bung from the end of the camera and just placed the translucent cap over the end just to protect the sensor. Now you'll notice there's nothing on the screen at the moment so to bring up the feed from the camera we need to click on the camera name in the top left corner. Now these instructions are all included on the Altair camera website um, if you prefer to read them rather than follow a video. I know some people learn differently. 
and that's fine. But anyway, I've now got a clue that the cam the PC is receiving information from the camera. You can see the frame rate is in the bottom right and the numbers of frames are counting up. Now, if I physically just lift up the camera a touch, you can see the level of grey on the screen changes and that's because light is actually reaching the sensor. Now that shows me that this camera is working absolutely fine. You won't see an image on the screen because it hasn't got a lens or telescope attached to it. And if I place it back down again, you'll notice the screen goes dark because there's no light reaching the sensor. Okay, so you'll notice I've now plugged in the Altair 290C to show you what it would look like on a colour camera. Now, I've basically put the camera face down on my desk and I'm just going to up the exposure time a little bit and as I lift it up you'll see a green tinge and that shows that light is actually reaching the sensor and my computer is receiving information from the camera much like the mono camera that just shows different uh, levels of brightness of grey you get a green tinge on the image here and that shows that the camera is working now, I'm quickly just going to go over some of the controls in Altair Capture. We have Gain and Exposure Time. Now, we have Exposure Time for Video Mode and Exposure Time for Trigger Mode. Now, I'll explain the difference between the two. This camera can take videos and still images, much like a normal digital camera. Video mode you would use for targets such as the moon and the planets and still image mode you would use for deep space objects such as you know nebulas or galaxies or clusters or you know whatever's out there. So to run the camera in video mode you want to set your appropriate gain and if you join the Altair Facebook group there's always people that will be happy to help you decide on what game would be appropriate for different targets and also the sweet spot of gain for your specific camera model. Now, if I try and hold it steady, as I up the gain, you'll notice the image becomes very bright, but also becomes a bit noisier. And there's always a trade-off with Astro. And you can see longer exposures let more light in to the sensor before it starts the next exposure etc and if you want to start a video you just set your your gain your exposure time and click record so for planets and the moon you would take a series of you know a video and then you could split the frames and stack them in free software that's available but that's a, co uh, a topic for another video now if you're wanting to take deep space objects you would work in trigger mode and you can set the exposure time so whether that's a minute long, five second long, um, however long you want it to be and then you can say how many images you want, you can sequence, you can take a single image or you can just take images on a loop and that's how that works or if you click snap you can just take one single image. And a bit further down you'll notice there's a menu called bit depth for deep space objects i would always use the highest bit depth available so for this camera it's 12 bits but you know for other cameras it might be 14 bits or 16 bits and you'll also have an 8-bit option as well now 8-bit you can use for the moon and the planets um, i tend to use 12-bit i can but if you use do use the lower bit rate you just have to stack more frames to ensure that you recover the dynamic range of the camera now if you're struggling let me just put it back to video mode so we get the feed on my on my screen if you're struggling with the camera freezing up and not sending frames to the computer you might need to adjust this frame rate slider now this computer can handle a high frame rate 
um, but if you're struggling just slide it to the left and hopefully that should sort you out and one last thing before we go if we go to histogram you can see how well you are exposing your frames so and you can also do a little bit of stretching as well if you like see that's stretched and if I unstretch it now there we go but this gives you a good indication of how well your frames are being exposed now I hope that's given you a good overview of a how to download the software and b how to control the basic controls in Altair Capture. Hopefully I'll be covering different software in further videos. If you if there's anything specific you want to ask, leave it down below in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.